Just a quick update of what a nightmare it is when a lot of the information that we've been getting has been uh, false. False or it's a big mix. Okay, so. See this area out here? This is the actual planting. And there's the water that he dug out with the backhoe. But you notice there's no trailer there. And yet other people pointed out there's a trailer right there. Well, he didn't live there. Okay, so now stay with me on this. This is how mixed up it is. There's the, there's the planting. And there's the water. Maybe he's going to run something over and do water with it. Okay. Stick with me. <clears throat> the gate is in this area here. It's in that area there. The little barbed wire invisible thing that goes across. But Dylan would not have been coming from here, going over to here, and then going up. He would have been coming uh, from up here. Okay, so this is, it. this is how mixed up it gets. And remember, we're not up there. We go by what people say, and you assume they're right. Okay, now here's the grain shed and equipment. There's the grain shed, the, the equipment, and uh, this is where... Um, the suspect lived so-called squatting, but he was actually a caretaker. I'm tongue-tied now for the guy's name. I'm so mixed up. There's where the boots were. Okay, now here's here's some equipment. Okay, so we've all been told there's his equipment. Okay. And that he lived over here out in the middle of nowhere, which would be impossible. Which he didn't. He, he didn't stay here. He didn't stay over here. His camper never was there. Okay, so now let's go back up. Now here's where this, this supposed murder took place. Now let's go to uh, Dylan stuff. Okay, it turns out there's Dylan stuff. That was his camper area. That was his camper area. Here. And supposedly his equipment. But they all kept equipment all over the place. You know, you just do it as agreement. So everything here did not necessarily belong to him. But this is where, uh, when they come up and inspected the truck and it was a four-wheel low, all that took place here. All that took place there. There's there's his camper area. So the reference is this big circle here. This big circle. That that wasn't his planting, but use that as a reference. That's Dylan's stuff. <laughs> well, what the hell are we supposed to go by when we've been told that this was his stuff. This was the stuff here, which some of his stuff was there. That's where he went and parked the grain truck in the uh, the grain shed. Now, where did he actually live most of the time? He didn't actually live even over in that area that I just showed you right here. He li He did live, it's confirmed, uh, across the street in a motor home from Saddle Sore Bar. He lived in a motor home. I don't know if it's visible here, but he lived in a motor home across from the Saddle Sore Bar. It could, it could be here. I don't know. It doesn't matter to me. It could be here. You know, that's, that's not important. But this is how mixed up it gets. So, to clarify things... Where, where are we? Where is the place out in the middle of no place? At no time did he live here. That is not where they pulled up and found the truck and all the other crap. 
That's this is water to provide this with water. But anyway, this is hot off the press from a local. But it, right here, see that circle, the boots. This is Dylan's shit. That is, that is. I mean, you know, here here it's been a month and we don't know what to believe. We don't, we don't know what to believe. Now, tomorrow it'll be another story. But this is Dylan's stuff, and there's his, his uh, motor home, and uh, I don't see the truck parked there, but supposedly this is his, his stuff, and probably some other people's stuff. That's the way that they do it. And so it's actually very close to where he could go driving over to the alpaca guy up, up here in this nice area well not that close not that close but anyway there you go there's there's some more information and the so-called gate that you picture well he comes in here busts down the gate here or the gate there whatever but it turns out that goddamn gate is is down here it's down there. It would be invisible on Google Earth because it's just a piece of barbed wire going across there. But Dylan wouldn't have went through that, uh, apparently wouldn't have went through that gate because he would have been coming from up here and down into here, not coming from out here where he never did live. <laughs> so take all that and then wait a couple of days and the story will be completely different. It's impossible to know what to believe.